Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low budget wonder. Now check this out. First thing I like to do is spread some all-purpose flour out on my countertop so I can start working out on my pizza dough. Now if you don't have your own pizza dough recipe, I've got a real nice tutorial that's simple, very comprehensible, and the recipe is awesome. So just hang out to the end of this video and I'll get you that recipe as well. Now when it's sticky like this, you're going to need a little bit of this flour rubbed into the top. Then you can start applying pressure in a circular motion. Then with two hands, you can stretch the dough from side to side. Then I like to pick the dough up and turn the edges. Let its own weight pull and stretch the dough. Then do the old fist over fist trick, again in a circular motion. Then when I've worked my way around the dough several times, it'll stretch out real nice and I'll feel confident enough to go ahead and give it a toss a few times. Then all I've got to do is throw it down over a perforated pizza pan and pull the edges till it's round. Now I'm going to add some Italian dressing and with the back of a spoon I'm going to spread that around evenly all the way to the edges of the dough. Sprinkle in some mozzarella cheese and you go ahead and put as much as you like. Just know that a little goes a long ways. I also like to grate in some fresh Romano cheese. It really gives it a nice flavor. But I don't like to stop there. This is Mexican oregano. It's really leafy. Got some nice buds in there. Just give them a quick pinch and it releases that flavor and just sprinkle that over the top. And for those of you that like a little kick, here's some chili flakes. So you can see, these are perfect. So I'm going to sprinkle those over the top as well. Now in my opinion, the only thing that's going to make this better is some chopped pieces of bacon. But that'll be up to you. Now just take it to the oven. I have an electric stove, so I like to put it on the bottom where the burner is. 475 degrees Fahrenheit for about 8 minutes. And this is what it'll look like when it's done. That is perfect. Now standard procedure when you're slicing is one right up the middle and then you come from the other side and just run straight lines. Maybe about an inch and a half apart. But you can cut it like a regular pizza for all I care. Bunch of triangles. I guess I better cut this one in half too. It doesn't have to be perfect. I just gotta make it look perfect for my photos. I mean that doesn't look half bad, does it? Traditionally this is served with pizza sauce. And if you want a recipe for that, I've got one for you as well. It's really easy to make and I'll post it at the end of this video and in the description below. I usually just add this to the side of my plate. And there you have it, Italian cheese bread right here in the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen. Thank you for watching, and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.